The first thing I want to make, though, are the chocolate almond energy gems. And I'm going to start by putting a cup of whole almonds into my food processor. I've toasted my almonds just because it adds a nice flavor to these little two-bite wonders. And of course, almonds are high in protein and healthy fat. To toast your almonds, all you have to do is lay them on a baking tray and then toast them at 350 for about 15 minutes. I have an assortment of dried fruits to add. And dried fruits are high in fiber, in vitamins and minerals, and it also means that these energy gems have no refined sugar added to them. So the first thing I'm adding is a cup of pitted dates. And I do have to say, when it comes to making this energy gem recipe, precision is not the key. A few extra dates, a few extra almonds, it all kind of evens out. I'll also add a cup of raisins. And now half a cup of pitted prunes. I'm a big fan of prunes. They have such a lovely sweetness and a softness that helps hold these energy gems together. There we go. And I'm also adding half a cup of rolled oats. If you're going for a gluten-free energy gem, just make sure your rolled oats are gluten-free certified. I'll pop in half a teaspoon of cinnamon for a nice little flavor there. And the first thing I'm going to do is pulse all of these ingredients together. Basically, I want to break down the almonds into smaller pieces. All right. My almonds are about half chopped up here, so it's a good time to add my four ounces of dark chocolate. And I'll just pour that in. You can use unsweetened chocolate in this recipe. That way you're fully eliminating any refined sugar but what is happening is as I pulse this together with the chocolate, the chocolate is going to melt into the mixture and that's what brings it together and makes it easy to shape in the little gems. Let me check on the consistency here. When I can feel that it holds together when I squeeze it, then I know it's done. Tip this out into a bowl. Oh, this smells incredible. It's amazing how it actually warms up in the food processor. That blade really does create some friction. But I get that combination of the cinnamon with the chocolate, and then you've got all these sweet dried fruits and the almonds in there. Now, before I get scooping, what I want to do is have my coatings ready. I've got sesame seeds, unsweetened coconut, and cocoa powder. So with a little scoop, place it in the palm of my hand, give it a quick roll, and then drop it in one of the three coatings, and I just shape a few at a time. And the great thing is this makes about two and a half dozen little energy gems, but they keep for ages in an airtight container. So great to have in your office desk when you need that little pick-me-up. For me, I tend to reach for these at about three in the afternoon. To make the coconut stick to these, I just dip my fingers in a little water as I roll. Oh yeah, that makes a big difference. I also really like this recipe because it's an easy no-bake treat. Wow, and there they are. These look like beautifully prepared truffles, but of course they've got all that healthy goodness inside. In addition to a workout treat or an afternoon snack, if you're finishing a meal with a cup of tea, just a couple of these as a treat, I think hit the spot. Which one am I gonna go for? I want a coconut one. Mmm, mm-hmm. It's chewy, the perfect amount of sweetness. I love that you get the crunch of the almond in there. I get the taste of the chocolate, the hint of the cinnamon, because if you're going to make a wholesome treat, it should be fulfilling. So this is one of my favorites.